Hello and welcome. This could help you in your travels. Glad to replenish your stock. Happy to take this off your hands. Finish looking around. I'll see. By the hood, stranger. Who are you yelling at? I see no one. My brother. He's right in there. A goblin turned him into a fish. A goblin turned him into a fish. He won't come out of the water to do his chores. Mom's gonna be so angry. I've gotta get him out of that pond. It won't be easy. He's mean and slippery.
help. My brother is swimming around this pond.
control the bring on must fit with Mary. Stretch your wings sooner. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm having trouble, trouble farmer. farmer. Rose? Is that, is that you? It is. My, my daughter, my child! I, I can scarcely believe it! You, you are a little confused. I have been along in the city to you again. I have never spoken to you before. Rose, Rose, no, not yet, if you are. Very well. Such a pleasure to have you at my side, Rose. But I'm so tired, so very tired. I cannot move these crates to shelter. Yes, Rose, right there. You are always the very clever child. What the others there as well? Rose, you have grown up to be quite strong. That's the last of them. Come join me, Rose. It's been ages since we had a chat. Rose, you're such a help. Let us reminisce, shall we? The tale of how I courted your mother. You never tire of that one. Well, as a young man, I was sent that first day. They brought the cows in from the field. And there was this milkmaid. Her smile like sunshine in a storm. I fancied her. She fancied me. We found our way to a storeroom. And then? What? Oh, uh, yes, uh, what, what was I saying? Ah, your mother and I in the storeroom. Yes. The Lord wandered in and caught us making merry. He fell into a dark rage and raised his axe. Your mother had a quick wit. Why, master, she said, this boy can fetch you more milk than you'd ever... Well, the Lord liked his milk, so says he, bring me this milk, and perhaps I'll show... We threw in our smocks and ran for the cow pen, milked the cows in a frenzy, and the Lord spooned off some cream to taste. Satisfied, he had his servant set the milk in the shade, and in a thrice, master, your mother said, and we ran outside. I will... I must know what happened. <laughs> yes? Oh. <clears throat> well, the cows are spent. Your mother bade me not to be a... We'll bring him these again, and call them new. So we brought the master the same milk again. Again he was pleased. Again he asked for more. And again we so he gave us his blessing. We ran for the not long after you were born. The pinkest little babe of father. That reminds me. Your mother's ring. She wanted you to have it. Here. Thank you, father. It will remind me of mother always.
Must be blocked from the other side. The other side must be barred.
bad luck. Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Searching her now, breaking your oath. That is what will bring us ill luck. <laughs> Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out, again and again, until Soma found me, naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. And Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another. Tightly. I know I can seem distant. Obsessed. But the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others? Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor, if a little enthusiastic. And Birna? Well, Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on... Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. She has no care for him. I am eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Eivor. The red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. Visited upon them all. Leave no house unburned. For licking Eldam and Wickman and Spoots. The smell of burning roof thatch and heady turf fire. Yeah. 
nothing more to share for now. That was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home. That's all I have for now. Fine.
Be allowed to keep spewing. Did you sail through a storm? Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The great summer army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. What would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrun made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put my... But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No... As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take two right, two right. Rickman's whelp awaits his. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. Let's go hooded no, here. I would much prefer a more straightforward approach. But for you, I'll try something new. How kind. Now keep your voice down. <laughs> the guards here are vigilant. <laughs> Wakeman's priest is in the church.
Wigman should have killed. Not poison the shire anymore. We should leave. Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's men. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. As The nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. Eivor, my muscle-banded friend! There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Soma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa... ...smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed when Soma took me in. She saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust. Right. And I love that about her. I love... everything about her. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But so... In what way? 
Her painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leaf. Oh, Leaf's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from them. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running. Fighting beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might black your eye or bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruises showed. They will attack on sight here. Forbids that form of pleasure. Is that right? It explains much. When I finish, focus. We have this. Wow. carries over snowdrifts. I learned young. I practiced by sneaking in and out of bedroom windows every chance I had. I'll stage your welcome. Slam's <laughs> 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 
My blade hand is not heavy. It's precise. That's all of them. Ah, the solitude of after slaughter. Shame about the smell, though. Men shit. You fought very well, Birna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Fridge. Get nothing out of me. Nothing. <laughs> Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around your Oli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now, and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz! The lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> ah!
That home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned.